Yo, yo, what's up? This is your novelist, Stanley Pitchford. I'm still continuing reading the book, Destruction Via the Mirror Image. We're on chapter 2. This is part 1. Destruction Via the Mirror Image, part 1, chapter 2. Um, so we're going to do 36 through 38 here. So let's get it. It was like a dream vacation in the air that would never end. There was nothing you could mention that the ship did not have. I could not understand why I even got homesick at that point. The ship was over prepared for only 12 people. There were only, there were many leisure things to do on the ship as well. There was a gym and a pool room, a casino and an engine smelting room. There were three main floors. The walls were covered with rugs for insulation. There was also a spa and a sauna and all these things were made in good taste. There were vending machines just about everywhere you went. If you wanted chips, cookies, soda, and other kinds of junk to eat. There were also healthier snacks and vending machines with vitamin pills in them. The most of the machines were located near the kitchen or by the gym. The spaceship gave us much more stress-free relaxation than we actually needed at one time. I do not think we had this much I did not think we had this much opportunity at home, I said to myself. Later, while in outer space, we had a mandatory meeting. Perea Ponga spoke. Hello, my fellow cadets. I hope your trip is exciting as mine so far. I am the initial boss for the ship, she said. Let me tell you how the rank go and I will and who will be in charge. Please believe, please believe me when I say this. I do not like to discipline anyone, really. But if you're out of line and not on task, well, what do you think a sister's supposed to do? I'm the first leader. Then there's commanding officer Carlos Lopez. Then Captain John Litzberger. After him, leadership will be placed in rank order according to the number of years in an astronaut. We feel that seniority with astronauts is an experience and is important to the mission, she uttered. <clears throat> the big boss at Washington Center gave me this authority. I am a truly nice woman, but I can get ugly if you push the wrong buttons. I'm too nice to my own kids, almost like we brothers and sisters are close friends on the same level or something. She told us this with such admiration and smiles. Then she told us that she was glad everybody had fun in those three days before the launch. Those days were so important for two reasons. It's never certain when we will make it back together. And it gives our, our relatives and friends something to hold on while, we, while we're not, to them for, not next to them for, the next, for some days. Plus, we wanted to make those three days the most memorable and, and as possible for our families and friends. And I think we did that as well. The mission in this voyage is to seek new activity and technological support and search new information. I know that does not seem like a good reason for the situations that could happen, but let us be confident and stay positive and on the assignment from the big boss. Please be reminded that we may not find anything, but it will have been a nice voyage. Plus, we get to enjoy all these nice advantages on this ship that this ship has there to offer, and it's many. I wish everybody the best on the voyage, and the best thing for all of us is to do now is to have fun. And remember that we're all in this together. She went on. We are only 12 people, so the least we can do is be kind to one another and help each other whenever needed. I thank you for allowing me to be your leader in this voyage. I will let you let you. I will let the next lead, leader in charge speak. Commander Point Ponger said. And then Carlos Lopez spoke. Hello, company. How is everybody? Everyone responded, "We're fine." Well, I'm glad to be second in command to help out the other ten people. I have a cool personality, as you will soon realize. But I can get hard on people at times as well. And when I do, it's out of the goodness of my heart, trust me. I'm at least a moral man. 
I believe every human is at least moral and knows what is right and what is wrong. If you are wrong, you will hear from me about it. With all of that having been said, I love to have fun, as many of you will know from the three-day gathering we just had. I just advise you be on your best behavior. Be respecting your position and your federal cadets as astronauts. You should also find ways to have fun, since there are plenty of things this ship has to offer. You can have robots serve you meals and tuck you in at night. That's really awesome. I like the robotic masseuse we have on the ship. I think they make this ship specifically for lazy people who do not have the energy to wash dish, wash dishes, so they have dishwashing robots. If we're not too careful, we might go back home overweight. So pull some weight around here so you not become like a couch potato. There are so many video games and other relaxing things to do that it's endless. I'm truly a fighter for the universal peace. So we must work toward that goal. I like voyages because they are good ways to preserve peace and relieve stress. I love the many attributes on, the, on this spaceship, the hex pod, which makes it enjoyable and makes the voyage even better. Remember, th 